Welcome again, Saints. Of course, I'm your dear servant and watchman on the wall, Brother Dale, uh, pastor of St. Mark, uh, right here live in my new podcast studio. Quick question, and sorry I couldn't get to these all these questions before. However, the question is super simple and easy to answer. Did Adam and Eve commit the first sins? Did they commit original sin? The answer is, if original means first, no. There's several things that we need to unpack really quickly. The first of which is sin has to be modeled by somebody else into uh, the lives of a perfect being as were Adam and Eve. That sin was modeled at least twice prior to Adam and Eve. The first instance we know of in scripture of someone sinning against God's throne. And this is according to uh, not only Isaiah 14, but Ezekiel 28, as well as uh, book of 1 Peter, is that Lucifer sinned and angels left their first estate and sinned with him. So Lucifer is perfect. Lucifer is in heaven. So we know Isaiah 14 says that Lucifer said in his heart, he will send to the throne of the most high. He will be like God. He was sitting on the mountains of the north and then he was judging. He was cast down by God. So Lucifer sinned and the sin while I'm here dealing with this, Lucifer's sin was not, it wasn't pride. It's something much more vicious and unforgivable than pride. Pride is forgivable. Now, I'm not saying that angels are sinners in the sense that humans are and they can be redeemed. And I'm going to tell you why they can't be redeemed here pretty quickly. However, Lucifer did sin and he was cast down. He was judged. His sin was not pride. His sin was blasphemy. And I know that because blasphemy, according uh, to uh, the Bible is defined as good, calling good evil and evil good. That's blasphemy. Remember, Jesus told them people uh, of all sins, you may be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Holy Ghost is not forgivable in this life nor the next. Because blasphemy of the Holy Ghost is saying good is evil and evil is good. My way of living is good. Your way, Christ, is bad. And the only sin that gets anyone's soul into hell is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Blasphemy in that sense is calling good, evil, evil, good. You know, Jesus' death on the cross is bad. My lifestyle, I'm a good person. I can pray my way. I can do whatever these things is to work my way into heaven. That's evil. Or what is righteous is Jesus' death on the cross and us accepting him. That makes us non-blasphemers. So whether it's murder, whether it's theft, whether it's rape, robbery, whatever the sin is, pride, it was nailed to the cross. The sin question has been taken care of. The only issue now is will you blaspheme the Holy Ghost? So Lucifer blasphemed the Holy Ghost. How did Lucifer do that? Not only did he call good, evil, evil, good. Here's why angels cannot be forgiven. Because what they did is they left their first estate, which means God, they were created as eternal beings. You and I weren't created as that. They were in the presence of God. They saw the beauty, the majesty. Why do you think Lucifer wanted to jack the throne? And they said, this is not enough. Remember, what God offers us is himself and to live eternally in his presence. Blasphemy of the Holy Ghost is saying that's not enough. The difference between an angel being forgiven and a human being forgiven is we live in strictly on faith. We, you can say, I know God is real. Okay, we can have that discussion. However, how can you know but yet have faith? The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You cannot prove God. Well, I can prove him by everything that's going on. You have to have a measure of faith. We could talk about that another time. I was actually debating that with Pastor Lovey Caldwell and uh, uh, Dr. Kenneth Adderley uh, not long ago uh, about knowing versus faith. We had a lively discussion. But the other part of that is either you know or you have faith. Now, the time is that you are not going to need faith because you're going to be in God's presence and you're going to know God. God is real. So we can talk to have that discussion all the time. However, angels knew God is real. They know God is real. Yet they were in his presence, experienced that majesty and that glory. Yet they said it was not enough. The other part of that is we know that that not only happened with angels, that's going to happen with like people that believed and were raptured or however you want to define that, but who who are living in the millennial kingdom with Jesus. After Jesus comes, his second coming comes back and he resets the earth. 
and, and makes all this stuff right, ruler with a rod of iron. That same thing happened because Satan, again, was let loose for a season, the Bible tells us. And then when that happened, some people followed him out of Jesus' presence, having died with salvation and having died in Christ and being raised from the dead, living with him, knowing he's real, knowing the Bible is real, knowing God is real. They're going to walk away just like Lucifer did. So Lucifer, that's not the only time in the biblical narrative that that happened. But finally, when we talk about whether Adam and Eve sinned, when we have to go to the garden, he was cast down. We find this evil spirit in the form of a serpent in the garden. The scripture tells us that the conversation, Genesis chapter 3, went like this. And the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field that the Lord God had made. And the serpent said unto the woman, Hath God said that she shall not eat of the tree, of every tree of the garden? The woman said, Of every tree of the garden we may eat, but the tree that's in the midst of the garden we may not eat. For when we, for if we do eat, uh, we will surely die. <laughs> The serpent said, you shall not surely die, but God does know that when you eat thereof, your eyes will be open and you will be like God's. And the woman saw that the fruit, saw that the fruit was good to the eyes and she took and she did eat. That's what happened. So I read that out so you can understand that not only was Lucifer blasphemed God in heaven, now the serpent told a lie in order to get even and beat. So now we have at least two sins that were committed prior to that. And that doesn't even include these other angels that follow Lucifer. I don't know if those are 10,000, 20,000. So maybe 20, 10, 15,000 sins that were committed before Adam and Eve sinned. So I ask you again, if Lucifer committed sin and he was judged for his sin, the serpent committed sin by lying to Adam and Eve, he was judged. And then Adam and Eve committed sin. If original means first, how did Adam and Eve commit the original or the first sins? Do you mean to say that they committed the first human sin that's a different conversation because we don't know that angels were created in the likeness and image of god but we know that humanity is now they did something unique in committing that sin but that's a lot that's a whole nother conversation than saying they committed original sin jesus said if the son shall make you free you shall be free indeed jesus died for that so that you could be free and you're going to find out a lot of what you believe is nothing but orthodoxy. Orthodoxy is what men say the Bible says, but sound doctrine is what God says the Bible says. The Bible says, let God be true and everyone else a liar. Adam and Eve did not commit the original sin. That is false doctrine. Hope that helps.